Hi, how are you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkyGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Continuing with my series on using Guitar Pro 7 for the uh, beginner, uh, really aimed at some of my students here. I want to show you how you can use files from Ultimate Guitar and how you can actually apply them, or bring them into Guitar Pro 7. But first of all, what you have to do is to set up an account with Ultimate Guitar. So let me just quickly show you how to do that. Uh, so we're here at the ultimate-guitar.com website and there are a number of ways you can access this. You can use Facebook, you can use Google+, Plus, your Google Plus account, and you can also sign up. So we've really got a choice. Uh, most people I know have got Facebook accounts. Uh, Google+, Plus. I would hope you've got Google+. Plus. Uh, or, as I said, you can just quickly sign in. So if you've not actually signed in before, click to the sign up window and there you can um, add a username, your email address and also a password. Uh, tick the I'm not a robot just to make sure that you are not a robot. And then click join Ultimate Guitar. They will then send you an email to validate your account. So it's as simple as that. Now, I already have an account, so what we're going to do, we're just going to sign in. And that takes you now, I've got access to the majority of information here in Ultimate Guitar. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how you can search for information on here and then how to download it. So let's take a, a simple song. Let's look at, um, oh, let me just pull anything out. Let's do Smells Like Teen Spirit. Uh, I've just been asked to do that. I can't spell, of course. Now, a lot of these, when you start to type in, they'll come as a drop-down menu anyway. So you'll just be able to select them in the tab. So we'll, we'll select this one. And straight away, it starts to go um, to the search side. And it brings up all this information here that we can see. Now, you could scroll down here, down this central column until you find the names of the songs that have the word Guitar Pro at the side. That's one way of doing it. Another way, you can go to the left-hand side here and they have a type of filter and you can just click on Guitar Pro and straight away it gives you all the Guitar Pro files. Now, you can select what you want. Uh, I tend to go to these, I will look for the highest rated one. So this one clearly is the highest rated here at 280. So I click on that and it takes me to this menu. Now, when I have brought this menu up, I tend to look at this section here to see what the instruments are included in this track. Now this one's indicating guitar, bass and percussion. So that would, obviously Nirvana was a bass guitar and percussion, and of course, vocalist, but in these cases, you don't always need the vocal line. So this will give me the full band. Now, some of them don't do that. Some of them might just have guitar, bass. It's very seldom you find one that just says percussion. But I, if, I, if I'm using this to teach, and uh, the student, and you as a student want to use this as a playback device, it's best to make sure that you have all the instruments there. Then... You are going to click on this little tab down here. Oh, there is one other thing I do like as well. I'll check the comments. The comments here, very nice, nice. I'm trying to play it. Looks good. Wish the lyrics were included. Well, we can always wish for everything. The, we can look. And so obviously I look at the comments just to see what they say. And I don't want to download something if I find out it's not actually what I'm looking for. So this one looks fine to me. Uh, it's got a high rating. So it has. Uh, so I would just click on Download Guitar Pro tab. Now, one other thing. People spend a lot of time working on these. And I myself, I've done lessons on these. And it does take some time and effort. Before you download something, why not just click and vote? Just give a little bit of support for the person who spent the time to provide you with this information. Doesn't hurt and uh, I'm sure it will make the person's day to see some extra points added to their tally. Right, then I will click on this Download Guitar Pro tap file. 
comes up with this. Do I want to open it? Now, I've also got Guitar Pro 6 on here. Uh, what I do recommend is you actually save it as a file. I, I learned this from experience. I have uh, actually opened it in the Guitar Pro and I haven't saved it then, then for some reason not thinking, I've shut it down and it hasn't saved it to the machine because it's just pulled the information off the internet. So it's not actually saved it to your laptop. So then you go back a couple of days later, switch it on and you're about to start working on the song that you'd been playing a couple of days before and it's not there. So get in the habit of saving it to your hard drive. So again, I'm gonna save this one. So there it is nicely chugging away, and then now I can see it has saved it to the hard drive. So let's go back to Guitar Pro 7. I know I've got this now in my download folder. So I'm just gonna go File, and then Open. I locate my download folder, and there we have Nirvana Smells Like Teen Spirit Guitar Pro. Click on that, and click on Open. And there we have it. I have got the tablature for Smells Like Teen Spirit. And let's just give it a whirl to see what it sounds like. There we go. Great song. Love it. Absolutely love it. Well, there you have it. That is how to access information from Ultimate Guitar. Also, how you can log on and set up your own account in Ultimate Guitar. Hope you've enjoyed this little short lesson. Hope you find it extremely useful. I'll be back soon with more tips and advice on using Guitar Pro 7. Don't forget, if you have any questions, if you're new to Guitar Pro 7, any questions on this, just drop me a line. I will be more than happy to get you an answer. So until the next lesson, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com wishing you well. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.